In a previous video, I found that it was very difficult to test the Hercules impact driver because it kept busting the socket adapters every single time I would try to test it. I could test it with a 2.5 amp hour battery because it's weaker than the other two batteries that I tested. But once I got up to the 4 amp hour and 8 amp hour, we started snapping socket adapters. So I actually want to take a moment and salute DeWalt, the DeWalt socket adapter right here. It lasted longer than most of the other ones. In fact, it lasted several different tests with the tough batteries. And now I've got the heart on there and the heart has done very, very well, which was a very big surprise to me. I'm gonna go ahead and put the brushless impact from Hercules up there with the 2.5 amp hour battery. Let's see what that dyno run looks like right off the bat. So with a 2.5 amp hour battery, we got up to 1150 PSI. So knowing that, let's try out the 4 amp hour extreme battery, which has 21700 cells. At this point, I'm getting very disheartened because I'm believing this is the beginning of the end for the test again. I just snapped the DeWalt impact adapter that had done so well this whole time and now I'm down to using a heart so we're gonna try this again with a heart adapter everybody cross your fingers So the heart actually made it through the entire test. I'm blown away. And the 4 amp hour battery actually came in over 150 points higher as far as PSI at 1310 PSI compared to the 2.5 amp hours, 1150. Now we still got to try the big 8 amp hour, but before we do that, let's go ahead and take a look at the RPM with the different batteries. <laughs> So you can see the bigger battery means a little bit more RPM, not a whole lot, but just a little bit. Now let's go ahead and get that 8 amp hour dyno run done so we can see how powerful this sucker is. So the 8 amp hour adds a little bit more power over the 4 amp hour across the curve and adds a whole lot more power than the 2.5 amp hour, which basically starts to look like a crank drill after the 8 amp hour takes a run. So a lot of power from the 8 amp hour, but it is heavier and there are some issues with it. It's going to snap your bits off every now and then, but very powerful impact driver nonetheless. I do like the fact that the Hercules brushless has the tri-beam LED lighting. They're very nice. There are also several options as far as speeds, one, two, and three, and an automatic mode. I have some T25 construction screws and some lag screws lined up here. The exact same for each battery, the four amp hour and the eight amp hour. And we're gonna test and see which one comes through faster and by how much. I'm not including the 2.5 because we all know it's gonna do awful. And it's a battery that you should try to never use. <laughs> So the 4 amp hour trails the 8 amp hour by about 3 seconds and some change. But you know what? The size of the 4 amp hour is more beneficial to me. I'd probably go with the 4 amp hour if I was using this on a daily basis. Here's our impact driver list. And if you take a look at the height there, you see the Bauer is still the tallest at 268 millimeters. But the Hercules with the 8 amp hour battery is 262. So it's pretty darn close. And the Bauer is still a little bit heavier at 2161 grams over 2143 for the Hercules, both with 8 amp hour batteries. Now, as far as length, the Bauer is longer than the Hercules by about 21 millimeters. And 
the Hercules is actually relatively short, really short. In fact, only one shorter is the 12 volt skill, which is pretty impressive. If you look at the right side, you see a row of points there. Those will be subtracted from the total to account for the size and weight of the tool. As far as power, you can see that there are a few that are pretty deadlocked here, ranging from the tip top, which is the Hercules with the 8 amp hour battery at 1390, down to the Bauer with its 8 amp hour battery, which is 1360. But then the Bauer and Hercules basically are right there in a dead heat, except for the Hercules with the 2.5 amp hour battery, which is 1150. The big benefit to the 2.5 amp hour battery is the cost because it's the only one of these that's sold in a kit. For $98, you basically get a charger, the impact driver, and the 2.5 amp hour battery. And that helps it quite a bit stand out where these other ones kind of fall behind. So that would bring us to our totals here. And I've arranged the list from top to bottom. And as you can see, if you've noticed from the last video, some of the numbers are a little bit different. And that's because I changed some of the formulas slightly to favor power a little bit more because I thought power wasn't favored enough. So I altered it a little bit. And that puts our Bauer actually on top with a three amp hour battery at 78.94 points, followed by yet another Bauer, five amp hour battery at 73.56, followed by the Hercules with the 2.5 amp hour, which is because of the kit mainly. And then it goes down to another Hercules with the four amp hour and then our eight amp hour. And I think the reason why this is happening is because the Hercules not being sold as a kit and being in general more expensive. The Hercules impact driver is $69 in the store and the Bauer impact driver is 39. The power between the two are not so far apart that it warrants the Hercules moving in the first place. The Bauer takes first place because of that price difference. Now the thing with the Hercules and the Bauer is Hercules has a great warranty where Bauer does not. When you buy most Bauer products, you can purchase a warranty, but it does add to the cost of the product. And I think you have to take that into account when you're purchasing these. If I had to pick the perfect impact driver from Harbor Freight for someone who had warranty in mind, it would be the Hercules with the four amp hour extreme battery and the charger, preferably the newer charger, but it's gonna cost a little bit more. That newer charger has a fan assist and charges much quicker than the older charger. I hope all of you enjoyed the video. The Hercules impact driver is very impressive. It's very powerful. You most likely don't need the eight amp hour battery unless you're doing something. I can't think of anything that you would be doing that you absolutely had to have the eight amp hour battery. You're going to snap a lot of socket adapters. You could use the 2.5. The 2.5 kind of restrains the tool because it can't supply the amount of power the tool wants. The four amp hour, I think, is the happy medium. It's kind of the good in between and it'll get a lot of the jobs done and give you plenty of power. If you want to support this channel, you can become a member by clicking the join button below the screen or there is a link on the end screen at the end of the video. I put up some alternate members only videos there, including some tool teardowns, some rebuilds and some uh, Frankenstein stuff like this old DeWalt XRP drill. I used this when I was very young in the trades about 20 years ago and I saw one for sale for $19.99 at a discount tool store so I said I'm gonna buy it slap a Makita adapter on the bottom of it because I have Makita batteries and we're going to uh, test it out too I just rebuilt it and cleaned it a little bit I haven't tested it yet stick around for that coming real soon but as always I ask you to put a like on the video if you enjoyed it you can subscribe if you'd like to see more videos like this I'll see you guys on the next video and God bless each of you